out, guys. So Mike came and helped us last week. We're here. We're going to help him now. Taking that one? Yeah, I'll take that so we're doing this big farmhouse here. They almost got this one wrapped up. They still got the whole backside. And then we're gonna go across the street and hit the other farmhouse. These are humongous properties. We got Dan here. Looks like Tessa Doback. Michael over here. I don't know who's Esther's way back here. there. TQ's here. Esther. Esther's here. All right, I'm sure there's some more too. Look at these guys working as a team. So they're just pretty much working a line right along here and they're starting back here to pick up. be vacuuming off of that gravel it'll pull it all right up in there not good for the blades now the fun begins so this is oil pump dan set up with eden's keeper he already had a little over half a load here so we're not going to get much in here but i wanted to hop in and give this thing a try simply because his is a little bit smaller than our big 37 uh billy goat but uh yeah thing was working great here i'm going to have more on this in just a little bit but i really wanted to just run it to see if there was a big difference 
makeshift box here. Hey, if it works, it works. It works. Okay, so we got a swing away. Very nice. Very nice. That goes up a lot quicker than our dump trailer. Oh yeah, PTO driven. <laughs> oh man, look at all that. We usually have our little electric blower to blow everything off, but I think we're good. So did you did you design this or? Um, no, this was bought from Northern Tool here, um, but with the back being heavier, uh, we had Adam and Scotty, they welded all this. I know it's rusty, I haven't had a chance to paint it, <laughs> but they added this on to give it support because the back was so heavy it's actually touching the ground yeah. when we swing it out. So it works they came good. in and just welded on there and does the job. Next yeah. year we'll have an aluminum bed like what you guys got. It's good to go. And just swings into place. Yep. Just like that. Very cool. Now uh you gonna jump in that pile? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> A little wet. Yeah. <laughs>
up this side here. We're going to move on to the next side. All right, so our objective here is to get a row of leaves fluffed up as much as possible along the roadways where we can bring the vac system in and vac them up. We don't have our big billy goat system just because these were a bit of a drive for us and our trucks are currently in the shop getting some stuff done to them, getting fixed up, and you'll see that in a future video when we get them back. With that being said, we're not plowing these as well because what we discovered is using the leaf plow is that you end up packing them so tight that you spend more time unpacking them to vac them up or unclogging your vac system and it just becomes a huge headache. That's why we haven't been using it as much this year. Uh, we've been using the deck a little bit on the mowers whenever we need to, but overall we just found that it just packs them way too tight and just becomes way too big of a headache. Not saying you can't use that if you're doing them a different way or if you need to shove them, say, into the woods or back onto a, you know, a garden area or something like that. But for us and the way we're going to do it, we're going to line them up into a row and then we're going to come through and you'll see we have very little... Uh, vac problems whenever we go to clean them up. Pretty cool little setup they threw together this year. I don't know what his horsepower is. I'm gonna assume maybe like 18. But uh, just a really nice little subcompact uh, leaf back setup. This is something similar. If you guys remember, probably, I don't know, three or four months ago, I was talking about selling our leaf back dump trailer, our whole setup. That all changed once I went looking. You can't find debris loaders right now. The billy goats are on back order. So that was like no go. And then to build, the dump trailer box onto a new dump truck, it would have been like astronomically. Prices are through the roof, as you guys know right now, and it just would not have made good business sense to sell it. So that's why I backtracked on selling the leaf loader setup. You're doing such a great job, sir. He can't hear a word I'm saying. Dan's doing such a great job. Alright, so we got all the lease lined up and here in a second I'm just basically getting in where I can get in. So these are Dan's guys working for him. Dan pays them so I didn't want to overstep my grounds and uh, interfere with their job. But every now and then you need a break from this thing so I saw an opportunity here and I wanted to try it out more compared to our leaf loader so that I could give you guys a real world feedback experience and that's what I'm going to do when we get to the end here. Rock. 
in there and use it quite a bit i used it a little bit on the other one across the street but really hopped in here and put about 15 minutes in i'd say 20 maybe but uh the question i get asked all the time that's an 18 horsepower we have the 37 with a bigger hose this is a little bit smaller hose do i think there's a real big comparison the easiest way i can explain this is it's going to stink either way you do it whether it's with the big one or the smaller one like this the question is, do you want it to stink longer or do you want it to stink shorter? Because it's gonna stink either way. It's tough, it's hard on the back, hard on the arms. You're gonna get a good workout in and uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna fill it. So you see us swapping in and out. That's just simply keeping a fresh guy or gal on there to uh, move as fast as possible because it is going to wear you down very quickly. So what I would say is I would probably rather have it stink less. So with that being said, I'm gonna stick with the bigger unit and get the job done just a little bit quicker so that it stinks a little bit less, but nothing wrong with this setup. It's just, it's gonna stink either way. It's, it's just gonna suck. You're gonna feel it. So you're gonna feel it short or you're gonna feel it long. So there you have it. That's my conclusion. Either one will get the job done. Just one's gonna take a hair bit longer and the other one's gonna get it done a little bit quicker. This unit is a little bit lighter but uh, also this unit can move a lot quicker than I say our unit that's a lot bigger. So we got you some dumps with this setup, gives you guys some ideas, gives us some ideas, and uh, you know maybe we'll implement some of the same things down the road. But uh, for the VAC system itself, I'm gonna stick with just the bigger one. It just, it grabs a lot quicker, a lot more, and just makes the job stink a little bit less. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. A ton of hard work helping friends out that have helped us out, and that's kind of how all of us do business together. We lend a hand where a hand is needed and help one another out, and that's what it's all about. We highly suggest, don't mind Nala yawning in the background, if you can get a team network of individuals, business owners in your area that help one another out as well, it's a great thing to be able to lean on whenever you need that extra hand without taking on all that extra responsibility of hiring multiple, multiple employees, this, that, there, and other. But really great time, have some fun, get some hard work done, and knock two huge farmhouses out. And uh, yeah, I think that might be a wrap for our lease season. Uh, we gotta get everything cleaned up before things get frozen. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace.
Bye.